Hello and welcome back to week number four of my summer practice journal. Let's get right into it. Unfortunately, this week I'll be going on vacation towards the back end of the week, so we have Monday through Thursday to get some work done. Due to the lack of time, I want to get my double tonguing up only 8 clicks from 92 to 100. I will be moving on to liqueur number 19 this week, which is marked 84 at the half note. I'm going to start around 55 and see if I can get up to 72, but we'll see where we are at the end of the four days. For the military band excerpt, I'm going to be working on Mambo from West Side Story, and we're just going to get that to full tempo. In terms of repertoire, I want to get right into movement five of Tableau. I know we're not going to get it all the way to full tempo, or maybe not even learn the whole thing in these four days, but we'll see how far we can get. Let's get right into it. So to start off the week, I went straight to the chops book and worked on an exercise that I honestly kind of forgot about. It tells you to turn on a specific drone that is usually the tonic and the key, and then you work on tuning with a little folk tune. As you can hear, every time I get to the droned pitch, I hold it out sort of like a fermata, just because depending on where you're approaching the note from, whether that's up or down, the tuning tendency can change. I then went on to do some arpeggios in the key of D major, which we call these rainbows. My professor Calvin Wong last semester taught me these, and you pretty much go through the Roman numerals in a specified key and go up and down the arpeggio. I'm not gonna lie, I have worked on this excerpt before because we played Mambo from West Side Story at Commencement Band, but I wanted to dive in deep and get it under my fingers again. When working on this, I had the tendency to change the articulation patterns on some of the ending notes, just because it's not sort of what you hear when you're listening to the piece. And then for some reason my audio did not work for this clip, but I went and worked through the first one and a half pages of Tableau Movement 5. A common theme this week was that each practice session was sort of hurried. I knew that I only had four days to get a whole lot done, so every day was sort of at a sprint. If you remember last week, I explained sort of the single tonguing exercise that I like to do. I turn on a metronome and use the automated um, bump up feature in tonal energy. It starts at about 60 and then I go up five clicks after every time I play a two octave scale, all tongue. Here's another fingers exercise from the 28 day warm up book.
here I'm going through every scale and scale pattern that I know on a specific pitch. So in this case, I was doing D major, and I think I want to make this sort of a more common thing over the summer, is instead of breaking each um, scale into whether it's harmonic minor or melodic minor, do it on a specific pitch and go through all the different ones on that same pitch. It's just a different way for my brain to go through all the different scales, and it sort of mixes it up. As you can hear, these loops are killing me. At the end of the first line, I have to go from middle C to high F sharp, and whew, it is just killer for the voicing. This etude is probably the least friendly one I've had to play, and it really sucks. There's constant 16th notes the whole time, and it's just crazy leaps and crazy patterns, and you never really get used to it. In four days, it's a lot to get done, and this is gonna be a big challenge for me. Today I started off with the 28 day warm up book again. This is the sonority number one. If I remember, I'll try and link the book below in the description. If there's anything I like more than the 28 day warm up book, it's gotta be the chops book. There's so many different exercises to pick from and I found this one working on front fingering altissimo. It really broke my brain for a while because I'm not used to using front fingerings. All throughout high school, I mainly stuck with the palm keys and just now in college, I've really started to work on the front fingerings. And then this is another scale exercise from the chops book where it goes through every key in the major pentatonic and then going to the harmonic minor pentatonic scales. Today with the Mambo excerpt, I really wanted to focus on the palm key stuff towards the back end. Um, some of it was really tricking me up, and I like to work at it at a little bit of a slower tempo, just so that when I do want to speed up the tempo, it's uh, much more comfortable under the fingers. Since I didn't have a whole lot of time this week and we only had one more day left, today I wanted to do a bit of chunking 
and speeding up the tempo just a little bit. I think I was about 65 today, and hopefully tomorrow I can get to 70, which is the goal tempo for the week. Today I worked on a lot of tableau since I wasn't really able to yesterday, and at this point I knew that I wasn't going to be able to get through the whole thing, so I sort of read through the end just sort of sight reading, but I wanted to focus on the first half and at least get it consistent at 80 BPM. As you can hear, we successfully got our double tongue to 100 BPM. Woo -woo. Today I didn't work on the Mambo excerpt just because yesterday we got it to full tempo at 132, but um, we did the double tonguing and then we went straight into the uh, liqueur etude for the week, number 19. As you can hear, I still had used the metronome for this run, which I wasn't very happy about, but it was keeping me from rushing because I tried it without the metronome and I was rushing like crazy. So I'd rather play it well at 70, um, which was our goal tempo for the week, but with the metronome. And then here's the first half of Tableau. I sped it up for you just because it's sort of boring 80 BPM, but it's uh, fun to listen to at double speed, which is ends up being around full tempo. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that concludes week number four of my summer practice journal. It was a short week, but we got a lot done. I was able to knock out my double tonguing goal for the week, as well as the military band excerpt. In terms of the LaCour etude, LaCour number 19 is one of the hardest ones I've had to play, and I wasn't able to get the metronome out, but I was able to get it to about 70 with very few mistakes. Tableau movement five is something I'm gonna wanna work on maybe one or two more weeks once I get back from vacation, just because over the last four days, I was only able to get familiar with about half of it at a baseline tempo of 80. I know it was a short week, but I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe down below. I'm gonna go pack for vacation. I'll see you next week. Peace.